Book Two, Chapter Ten of Two Treatises of Civil Government. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Two Treatises of Civil Government by John Locke. Book Two, Chapter Ten Of the Forms of a Commonwealth. The majority having, as has been showed, upon men's first uniting into society, the whole power of the community naturally in them, may employ all that power in making laws for the community from time to time, and executing those laws by officers of their own appointing, and then the form of the government is a perfect democracy. Or else may put the power of making laws into the hands of a few select men, and their heirs or successors, and then it is an oligarchy, or else into the hands of one man, and then it is a monarchy, if to him and his heirs it is an hereditary monarchy, if to him only for life, but upon his death, the power only of nominating a successor to return to them, an elective monarchy. And so, accordingly, of these the community may make compounded and mixed forms of government, as they think good. And if the legislative power be at first given by the majority to one or more persons only for their lives, or any limited time, and then the supreme power to revert to them again, when it is so reverted, the community may dispose of it again anew into what hands they please, and so constitute a new form of government. For the form of government, depending upon the placing of the supreme power, which is the legislative, it being impossible to conceive that an inferior power should prescribe to a superior, or any but the supreme make laws, according as the power of making laws is placed, such is the form of the commonwealth. By commonwealth I must be understood all along to mean, not a democracy, or any form of government, but any independent community, which the Latines signified by the word civitus, to which the word which best answers in our language is commonwealth, and most properly expresses such a society of men, which community or city in English does not. For there may be subordinate communities in a government, and city amongst us has a quite different notion from commonwealth, and therefore, to avoid ambiguity, I crave leave to use the word commonwealth in that sense, in which I find it used by King James I, and I take it to be its genuine signification, which if anybody dislike, I consent with him to change it for a better. End of Book 2, Chapter 10